that's done well, Lanterns could be a great series. Now look, it may not work out, it may not be good, it may fail because you don't know how many things will turn out. At least there is a clear, concise plan here. And it isn't just vibes. I'm sorry, Snyder fans. Snyder is a talented hack. <laughs> That's what he is. What you don't do is have Snyder be the head or have a kind of fight five year old. What you do is Snyder does a particular project and you look over the particular project that he does. You shouldn't you don't have him as a head of a freaking studio and where he's now responsible of, of interconnecting stories. You, you don't, you know. Because look, I don't know what James Gunn is gonna do, and it's not guaranteed for these things to, to make any sense. But for what he's put out, I'm interested. I'm interested in, in, in a few of these things. Actually, I'm not the biggest James, James Gunn fan. Like the only the only thing of his that I've liked is um um what the only thing of his that I've liked is his Guardians of the Galaxy first film. I didn't like the second film. I didn't like the second film. I still haven't watched the Suicide Squad because when I watched the, the trailer, I was like, nah, I'm I'm not interested, you know. Like, I mean, after that first Suicide Squad movie what, what was trash. I looked at the trailer for this one. I was like, "Nah, I'm not. I, I'm not into it." Peacemaker. Eh, I wasn't that much of a fan of Peace, Peacemaker. Like, it's had some good bits. I wasn't a fan of it. Like, James Gunn for me is more miss than hits, which is why it's tricky. So, you have a situation here where there are some interesting projects here but let, let's just go through the projects to begin with because i won't actually do this in much more detail but afterwards so let's talk about the ones that i'm really interested in um walla Vala davis is one of the, the the best actors of our generation she's outstanding and the fact that you're gonna give her her own series i think that's great so for me i will always go towards the quality actors the, the quality talents so it will even if the Amanda Waller character I've never really been into, but she does such a good job with it. Her in that role, I think that's great. So the Waller series, I think, is great. Lanterns. That could be really good. When you say that they're like two detectives and two guys in partnership working with it, I think that could be amazing. I think that could be amazing. That's done well. Lanterns could be a great series. Which could now go into a film. So I think there's now going to be how Jordan and John Stewart. I think most guys were thinking that just do John Stewart because he's pretty much the most popular character based on the Justice League car cartoon. But no, bro, it's in space and have space detectives, have intergalactic detectives, which would be great. So that Lantern's Predator looks looks cool. <sighs> Superman Legacy, written by James Gunn. Superman is a tricky character to get right, man. You need you. It's a tricky character to get right. Because, see, Batman comes with so much baggage and so much good in my material. It's not easy, but it's easier to do something with Batman than Superman. When you're dealing with a guy who has a great origin story, but is so OP, you've got to have your head screwed on. And James Gunn is writing it. Seeing what James Gunn has done and everything. Does he know how to write a really good Superman script? I just don't know. I just don't. I just don't know. And look, as a head, he knows that Superman is he's he is the granddaddy of them all. It is freaking Superman. This is the face of superheroes. So James Gunn would say, look, if I'm a head of the studio, I am writing a damn Superman um, story, man. So, but you don't know that he's that dude. So Batman, I forgot what what it's called. Tell me in the comments. So Batman with Damon Wayne, where Damon Wayne is Robin. Okay, better start with you. And this is why I'm also happy with what James Gunn said. I've never liked Robin. Never liked Robin at all. Just, just never liked him. For me, Batman is solo dolo. Batman is solo dolo. Like I told you, like my boy here, my boy here is solo dolo. My boy here is solo dolo. I, I want him to be solo, 100% man. So, um, yeah. But I'm interested. And here's where the beauty is. So he says that. Joker, the Batman Matt Reeves, that's going to be called DC Elseworlds. And they will not um, um, interfere with what is happening here, which I think is great. Because 
because I wouldn't watch the Batman again. Cause I, it's very true. Because I want to maybe do like I'm not like a other alternative review on the Batman like after another kind of a watch. Because I want to watch, watch 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 that again just in 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 full again. But um, I think there's something there with what my was doing with the Batman. I just I had a few issues with with, with the film. Riddler's performance, the bad suit specifically, and so for some of the action. But I want to watch watch it again. But there's a lot, there's more, there's a lot more to work with in that. So, but what I don't want is this to have anything to do with the DCEU. So, I mean, look. Overall, let's see, let's let's see what what pops up. I think he says. So I think 2025. So 2024, you've got Joker on my birthday next year. Then 2025, you. I think that's where the Superman film comes out. I don't know another. Yeah, I think I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think 2025 is the Superman film and the Batman sequel. <laughs> so you could have Batman and Superman in the same year. But yeah, man. So obviously now the big thing now is the search for Superman. You know who is now going to play the Superman for his film. And my interest is what angle is it going to come at? What is the Different angles gonna come out of this with this whole DC thing, man. But look, man, I think the thing here is this is look <laughs> with regards to Snyder and, and so forth. It was never gonna work out. And <laughs> you see, there are some people here who they're just these massive Snyder fans, and when obviously you're a fan of something specifically with a specific style, I get it. But you've got to take a step back and say did Snyder really know what he was doing from a narrative point of view, from a story point of view? And here's, and we just have to speak facts here. Because I have issues with both Snyder and James James Gunn, but this is a fact here. Snyder is a better visualist. He's a, he's a better artist on a visual level than Gunn. James Gunn is a better storyteller. Tells better stories than Snyder. Snyder is a horrendous, he's a horrendous, horrendous story storyteller. James Gunn is a pretty good storyteller. We just look at the films he's done. The stories are much better than um, Snyder. They're not the best stories in the world, but compared to Snyder, they are much better. So, because the issue with the whole Snyder verse was the stories were garbage. Batman vs. Superman is one of the worst films I've ever seen in my entire life. Man of Steel had a, a, a great opening. Three quarters of that film was trash. Three quarters of Man of Steel was trash. Um... And Justice League, both versions were garbage. Now, Snyder's version was better than Whedon's version, which was compromised, but still, it was it was it, it was still essentially garbage. So, my thing though is, look, <laughs> there's no point here. So, again, I'm excited about Waller series. I'm really excited about the Lanterns. I'm intrigued to see what they do with Superman and Batman. But I am more interested in the Batman film and bro. Joker, that's like one of my most anticipated films, so that is my number one. So let's see what happens, man. But tell me, guys, in the comments, tell me, guys, are you excited about James Gunn and what he's going to be doing with the DCEU? Do you think that DC could could say what's up? But last thing before I go, and this, and this is what I've always said, I get it. You want the interconnectivity, and as he says, he wants, you know, the, the, the films, cartoons, and video games to all be in one. And I think he even said that those who do the voices in the cartoons or the video games will actually be the actors playing them in the film. So everything is fully interconnected, which is cool. My thing that is DC, you can't replicate what Marvel did. And DC's strength is Batman, the Batman with Matt Reeves and Joker with, with Tony Phillips is making these solo films. Do a one shot of Long Halloween. Do a one shot of Death of Superman. Do a one shot of uh, Batman Year One. And give those to a, a freaking winding reference. Give them to a freaking Aaron Aronofsky. Give them to these kinds of directors. Give them to a Ryan Coogler. Just to do a one shot where they can just go all out with that kind of a film, which is what Todd Phillips is doing with Joker. Say what you guys think in the comments below, man. Peace.